ferry. I've got my breakfast that was packed for me. My bags are there. Just waiting for the off. I think I've probably got about an hour before we go. It didn't take very long to get here. My bag is on that van with the blue tarpaulin. And now we're just walking down a little alleyway. They said that this is the fastest way. Okay, I'm following the crowds. I just hope I'm going to be reunited with my bag again at some point. It looks like we have to pay a fee to get onto the island. Okay, so I've paid my 10,000 and now we're coming down here towards the boat. I have no idea how long the boat takes, possibly an hour. It's only just eight o'clock at the moment, so this looks like the boat. What a lovely little harbour. And we're off, only 20 minutes late, which is quite good. They've just opened the upstairs, so everyone's running to go upstairs, but it's got air conditioning down here, so I'm staying down here. Don't believe it. I've left my travel plug and my new cable for my phone at my last hostel. Unbelievable. If I can't find a new one, I'll have to go back for it. This is me just arriving on Gilead. Really looking forward to this the next six days. This is my room. This is my little bed, my locker, toilet, shower, and I think there's more people upstairs. Very rustic, but I'm quite happy. This is the main street. I've walked from the ferry port. Oh my word. It gets more and more beautiful with every turn. The further I walk, the smaller the road is becoming. I've made it to the other side of the island. 15, 20 minute walk. I can't believe it. I just stopped for a beer in one of these restaurants and I met Leslie and Brian. Lovely couple from Byron Bay in Australia. They had a spare travel plug. I just feel so blessed right now. People are so kind. So Leslie and Brian, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You've really got me out of a tight spot. My beer was about a pound. My sandwich is about one pound 20. And this is my view. Oh, slight problem with the path. It's disintegrated. <laughs> wow, and my dinner's just arrived. Freshly barbecued fish. Murray Murray, I think they called it. Oh, what a perfect start to the day. I've just been for my very first Balinese massage, which was 100,000 rupiah, which I believe is just over five pounds. I'll put the price up here. Oh, it was amazing. I'll come back for it. <laughs> Too busy not watching what I'm doing. Too relaxed after that massage, that's what it is. Oops. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm trying to think of words to put to this. And right now, nothing actually comes to mind. I'm off to go and do a dive this morning. My first one since I went diving in September and the first one since all my ear infections as well. I'm just paid up to do a fun dive this time and it's just going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. It is off a boat so we've got to go on a boat and we're going out and they're taking me somewhere I'm not quite sure where yet. But yeah, it's a one-on-one -on -one fun dive. And she just said, slowly, slowly, very patient. 
and see how I go. And if I get on all right with my ears, I'm going to book up a couple more, I think. Um, I would like to get my open water, but it depends how my ears go today. I'm looking forward to it and I hope my ears don't play up and that I, I get a good dive because it'd be really nice to do some more here in Bali and then some in my next destination when I get there. We will see. I'm looking forward to it. Just met up with Jackie and Sonia for a lovely meal, but it started thunder and lightning. So I'm just doing a quick dash back to my room before I get absolutely soaked. I have to be up tomorrow at about seven because I'm going diving and I've got to be at the dive centre for 8.30am and my dive is at nine. Yeah, my dive yesterday went really well. So I'm back to do another one first thing this morning. It is now 20 to eight and I'm walking back around to the dive centre. It's about 2K to the dive centre. I would pick the one that's furthest away from where I'm staying. <laughs> There's four on the island from Paddy. I chose this one the second day I came out walking and then realised actually it's the furthest one away from where I'm staying. Oh, the tide's right out at the moment. But it's lovely and cool at this time in the morning. See, this is why the locals get up early, do what they have to do, and then all afternoon they go to sleep, which is sensible. <laughs> I hope today's dive goes as well as yesterday's. I took my GoPro yesterday and then realised that actually without a dive housing, <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> it kind of shut down so which i'm quite pleased about because evidently if it hadn't shut down then i would have lost my gopro so it's a learning curve every day a lesson One, two. i've just stopped here for breakfast and behind me that's where i'm diving so i'm right here so oh, i'm really gutted the weather is just not playing balls today the waves are so rough we were tossed around in that boat it was not good we've come back and sat and waited for two hours i think the guys are going to try and go back out again but for me it's like no i'm not going back out on that boat again tonight i'm going to go and watch eat pray love in an open air theater and then the next day I'm going to come back and try and do another one. So hopefully I'll be able to get another one in on Gilead before I move on because I really liked it. And it'll be good to go out twice with the same guy because he can then help me with my buoyancy. So that's what I'm hoping. So fingers crossed that I'll get out again. But today for me, no, I'm done. <laughs> in a long, I didn't even see him. He just shot out in front of me. This is the cheeky monkey bar. They're definitely very cheeky. Come here for dinner. It was recommended to me. And I've kind of tried a little bit of everything. So I'll let you know what I think. Well, hands down, that was one of the nicest meals I've had. And I got a put in as well. 33,000, not bad. Found this lovely little hair salon on Gulliere. And I'm gonna give it a go because the ends of my hair so need a haircut. The last time I had it cut was in Manly in, I think it must have been December. And we're now February, but this needs coming off really because this was where my hair was bleached. So I'm gonna give it a go. Wow. 
That's a bit of a storm and a half. The main road has turned into a river. And to be honest, that sky doesn't really look like it's going to give up at any stage. Well, the rain is coming down in sheets and sheets out there. I've come and tucked myself away in my room with my laptop and this is where I'm going to stay till it's past. I'm back at my favourite restaurant for my last evening. I don't want to leave. I've had such a nice time on Gilier. I just really could stay here forever. This is my final meal here. I think that's tuna, butterfish. I can't remember what he said now. I am completely in love with this island. I, I can't even speak. Gilier for me is just beautiful. I love it. I really wish that I'd had time to go to Gilimino as well, but maybe next time. Oh my goodness, I'm not sure I've signed up for this. They told me, yes, it's a big boat. It's a big boat. That's not a big boat. It's a canoe, for goodness sake. Okay. This is... <laughs> my worst nightmare ever. I want the small boat and it's really rough. Oh, I don't like it. Wow. That was hands down the worst trip I've had in an absolute age. I feel good. But I think we're almost there. That's Bali behind us. So, yeah. Guess what I have back? My plug. Oh my God. Yay. <laughs> um, Sonia and Jackie, they stayed in a hostel with a guy called Marcel. And he managed to go back, pick it up for me. And when I came back from Gilier, he had them waiting for me. Wow, this is Marcel's place. Look at this, it's amazing. And then these are the rooms, look. And that's the view you make wake up to with the sunrise every morning. I really can't thank him enough because I never thought I would see these again. So Marcel has just dropped me off. This is the ferry terminal. the boat we will be catching to take me to Nusa Penida for about 20 minutes I believe. The boat that I thought it was, it's not the boat. Once you just turned up it's a lot smaller. I might be wrong but I think that little boat might be the one that's taking us over. I'm on another boat, this is my worst day ever. I swear to God it's not good. Yeah. 